Hey there, hey, it's Alicia Janae, and welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23, which reads that all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. If you want to know more about this verse and why I'm going to be talking about it today, then just go ahead and keep on watching and before i forget please if you have not already subscribe to this channel as i make faith-based content also some fashion some beauty things of that nature if you're interested um and if you enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and ring that notification bell so that you can be notified of any upcoming videos let's get into it <laughs> So in today's video, I will be pulling from my blog. If you did not know, I do have a blog, www.2plus2.org. Um, check it out if you're interested. And this particular blog post is about me not wearing chokers anymore and why I stopped wearing chokers. So I know off the dome, you're like, what does I have to do? with 1 Corinthians 10 and 23, honey, I will tell you, we will dive right into it. So one day I was at work and my coworker slash friend posed a question asking why I don't wear chokers anymore. First of all, that just shows you how much I wore chokers. <laughs> I wore a choker pretty much every single day. So for someone to notice, hey, you don't wear them anymore. That it, mm -hmm okay okay so um my reasoning um for not wearing chokers uh let me first preface this by saying i do not believe that chokers are a matter of heaven and hell okay i don't believe that if you wear a choker you are at risk of eternal damnation <laughs> that's that is not what i'm saying here i'm not calling you a sinner if you wear them i am just talking about me and why i stopped wearing chokers which does connect with 1 Corinthians 10, verse 23. So in 1 Corinthians, um, we find Paul, who is responsible for writing a lot of the letters to um, the church of Corinth. And it, we find Paul writing a letter and he is extremely worried. Okay, He is in panic mode because the church is running wild going absolutely crazy okay he established this church at corinth and now they are losing their minds so he writes a letter to these people um and i mean when i say going crazy like I, they were sleeping around and claiming that it was okay because of grace they were uh you know there was a battle between who loved peter more and who loved Paul more and which teacher was better which one was more reliable and they would shame the one that they didn't like they just would pick favorites and then like shame the other one as if they're not talking about the same Jesus but yeah they were like Paul followers and Peter followers um and you know they were causing division in the church they were idolizing um these teachers and idolizing other stuff um they were pretty much like the Israelites in the wilderness but like part two okay like it was crazy they were going absolutely crazy and um a big the biggest issue was that they were doing this all under grace they're all using grace to justify their actions to justify their wrongs everything that they were doing it's okay because yo jesus died so we good we covered uh, no 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 <laughs> incorrect <laughs> so Paul writes to them and um, in chapter 10, he's really specifically talking about food um, because there was an argument that, you know, we can't eat these foods. We can eat these foods. You can eat it, bless it and eat it. You can't eat it, all of that, okay? And one of the biggest things were that was that some of the foods that was the biggest argument was being sacrificed to other gods. So if someone sacrificed a meat to another god that you did not believe in, should you still eat that meat knowing that it was sacrificed to 
they're gone. And Paul basically says like, look, okay, if you're in the presence of other believers and, and y'all want to chow down on some ribs, go ahead and eat some ribs. Like bless it and eat it. Stop going back and forth. However, if you are in the presence of someone who did sacrifice this meat to these other gods who we know are not real, don't do it because it could taint your witness. The biggest point of this chapter is realizing that whatever you do could, could taint your witness and trying to, um, striving not to do just that, okay? So, um, here's the thing. Paul does not say in this letter, he never once says, oh yeah, no, just like tell them you know, that you don't believe in their gods and then you can eat it. Just like explain, you know, what it is. No, he just says, don't do it. Like, don't even test the waters. Don't even, you know, like, just, just, just don't. Just don't. So what does that have to do with chokers? Here's the thing. The original intent of chokers was to identify prostitutes, if you did not know that. Prostitutes would wear a red ribbon around their neck and that's how you knew right like oh that's that's a prostitute okay that is not exactly what it is today um and some people really they look at chokers and they just think fashion statement that's it they don't think more or less or anything about it um there are some people um like you know like urban dictionary that would say that chokers are solely sexual and that's it like there's no way around it that's just what it is it's a sexual item, okay? Um, they can be used in sexual industries and things of that nature. It can, it can, it can go left real quick, okay? It can. So, for me, a part of my testimony is that the Lord delivered me out of sexual addiction, okay? So, if he brought me out of that, then that should mean that I should no longer carry anything that reflects that, okay? That being said, I felt convicted to stop. Um, and the day that I stopped, the day that I made the decision to stop wearing chokers, um, someone spoke to me and was like, hey, you should consider, consider taking that off right now. This was something that had already, I'd already been battling with. I'm just going to be honest. Like I would put it on and have a war in my members. As the Bible says, I would really go back and forth with the Holy Spirit and would just kind of justify it as, oh, but it's cute. It goes with my outfit. And that's a problem, but we going we going to get there. Okay. We going to get there. So <laughs> when I was, you know, suggested that I should take off the choker when I tell you the moment I took off the choker it was like a weight had been lifted chains had been broken like it was crazy okay it was not an experience that I will forget so that's why I don't wear them anymore because I, I can't ignore that experience I can't say I had this experience and it means nothing no so I don't wear them anymore here's the thing that whole idea of trying to find loopholes is not healthy and it's not biblical it's not good it's not expedient like if you are doing something that you have to push past the holy ghost to feel comfortable to do it then maybe you shouldn't be doing it you know if if you are just adamant about searching for the loopholes in scripture to uh justify whatever that whatever you're doing to justify uh, weights in your life then maybe you should reevaluate this and 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 I'm not saying this like oh like you you watching well I mean, I mean you know I I'm talking about it so like maybe you should listen but this was this was a thing for me right Aaliyah you should not be looking for loopholes you should not be pushing past the Holy Ghost so can I say right now today that nobody who calls himself a Christian should wear a choker ever? 
um, no, I'm not going to go that far. I'm not going to say that. But if you put it on and feel a, uh, mm, then maybe, maybe follow that feeling. Because I promise it's probably the Holy Spirit. Those things that convict us are there for a reason. We're supposed to follow the conviction. We're not supposed to push past the conviction as I was doing and as I often do. Like we as Christians, we, we do it. We do it. We do it. We do a lot, a lot of the time. So this is something that we have to evaluate often and say, you know what? Hey, what am I doing that is n lawful but not expedient? right because there are things that we we can do you can do that but should you right we we can legally drink we are allowed to drink biblically it's it just says don't get drunk right but if you know that when you drink <laughs> you can't drink without getting drunk then maybe you shouldn't drink like everything that's lawful is not expedient everything that's lawful is not edifying it's just not. So we have to, um, you know, check ourselves and, and see, say, God, you know, what's, is there something in me that's not pleasing? Is there a weight that I am carrying, even though your word says to lay aside every weight? Every weight that so easily does beset us, which means every weight that could cause us to sin, could trip us up into sin. Could I will say it's full transparency and disclosure for the children who are watching, maybe stop watching at this point. When I was wearing the Joker, I had stopped engaging for a while. Okay, I just continued wearing the Joker, but every time I would wear a Joker, those thoughts would come to my mind. Every time I was wearing chokers, like I, I was. I would walk differently, like a more sensual walk, my thoughts were more tainted. It just was. Um, and that might not be your story. That might not be your situation. This was for me. So clearly that was a weight because I could have easily tripped up and fallen into the sin. So, again, everything that is lawful <laughs> is not expedient. And everything that is lawful is not edifying. I hope this blessed you. And if it did, you know, leave a like subscribe consider consider subscribing maybe share with someone who you know you know could benefit from from this okay i would love to hear your feedback your thoughts you know let's have a conversation and no please know that i love you and jesus loves you so much more and remember you will never overcome that which is hidden and you will not conquer what you refuse to confront let's break some chains y'all <laughs>